Hello and welcome back. So we have a slight problem here where we ended up creating a new uh, record here. And it even added a random number at the end because we have a similar ID here. So this system is working good. But let's delete this row real quick. Let's see why we created a new one. If we go to profile, here it says insert, but it should say update. So this is the reason why. So we're supposed to use the update, but the update requires an ID, right? But the problem is we are not, we don't have the correct ID. Here we just have the ID of um, the user ID and not the raw ID. What I mean is the thing looks for this ID right here in order to update. But what we have is this user ID here. So we want to use this user ID to get this ID over here real quickly. So what I will do here is that uh, I'm going to say, uh, I'm just going to call it my row is equal to, and I'll say user and uh, user first like this, right? And then what am I looking for? I'm looking for where the user ID be equal to the ID we've been supplied, like this. Okay, so if this is an object, meaning everything is cool, uh, what we can do now is uh, the redirect, we'll leave that there as it is, but let's put an if statement here. If is object, because we expect an object here and not an array, because we're just getting one result. So I'll do this, if is object, and then now we can update. And with this, we can copy that and get its ID, like so, ID, comma, and then add the record. Okay, cool. Let's refresh, resend. Cool, seems like we didn't have problems. Now let me try and edit the email. Just put it to there, save changes. It looks like we made it. Back to profile, you see it's permanent. Let's edit and there it is. So let me edit it back, save changes. Okay, so everything seems fine except the password. Now, if we do add the password, I want it to be different. So, uh, Let's just make sure that that is working as well. So this one, I'll say password two, okay, like this. And then let me just try and save like this. Passwords do not match, that is good. So which means it's taking it into account at this point. So if I save now, hmm, now we have a problem. So column not found password two. Hmm, who knew, who knew? Okay, so the reason this is happening is because we were supposed to remove the password too uh, before we get here. Now, do we do that when we are signing up, I wonder? So open this sign up thingy and let's check it out. Apparently, we do not. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How is this happening? Hmm incredible incredible okay i see what the problem is here the problem is much deeper than i thought so let's go to the core model and what's happening is that we have um let's look at the insert right now re insert removes unwanted columns here right so i'm going to copy all of this copy and then it runs some before functions etc uh, etc et so I'll copy this and if i go to let me actually just uh, before insert yes let's copy all of that copy but i think the update doesn't do that which is right here it does not so let's just add that here, paste like so. So now it removes the unwanted columns and then it runs the functions that should run before 
uh, this should be allowed columns, right? This one should be before update. So let's change that to update. Same thing here. Update like so. Okay, cool. So this should solve this problem. So refresh and resend. There we go. Cool. So it seems our password has changed, but let's confirm. So this is guy at yahoo.com. Copy. It's supposed to refuse to allow me to log in with simply the word password. And lo and behold, it has. If I put two, I should be able to log in, but I am not. Password two. Oopsie. That doesn't seem right. Hmm. There's something wrong here. Okay, no problem. Let's go back here and let's check the users table. So we haven't created uh, something else. And let's look at the password. Mm -hmm. So this is why we have a problem. Look at that. This isn't valid. It's showing me the actual password instead of a hashed version. That isn't cool. So let's go to our sign up and see how we figured that out. How did we do it here? Oh, I see. We did run a function before. So let's go to our... Um, hmm. Okay, we use the function in here, but I don't want to do that. Let me go to the user model. Yes. In the user's model, there's this function that says hash password. Now, actually, maybe we should do that. So I'm just going to come back here and the return should always be there. But what I want to do is to make sure it, it makes sure that password exists before it tries to hash it. So I'm just going to say if is set like this okay and then move this inward and then do that like so so if it is set just hash it now hash password only runs currently when we have let me go up here this is the before insert now we've told the update to look for before update as well so which means we are free to add a before update here which will also run and let's put hash password here like so oh, which was already here actually so i just need to remove the others and that's it cool so let's see if we've solved our problem now so i'm just going to log in as the admin here we go password Let's go to students. Let's look at Mr. Guy. Here it. And let's change our password to password2. Again here, password2. Let's save those changes. Come back here. Let's see if this password2 has changed to some encrypted value. And as you can see, it has. So this time we should be able to log in as Mr. Guy. So copy this log out paste let's see password to enter there we go guy is online okay but let's go back to the super admin because we still have work to do and password enter no it's not the wrong password it's the wrong email cool okay so so far so good editing a profile is done except for the image so let's see how we can deal with the image in the next video